In this episode, my friend is going to show you how to do a one-handed push-up and handstand push-up. Oh my god, look at that! What's up? Today onwards, I'm going to change the format a little bit of my vlog. See, I've decided to bring in different people from different niche, different background to, to come in and to share their experience and how they get there and all these things like, like all those content that will be able to benefit you, the audience. So you know, instead of just looking at me like me showing you what I'm doing the whole day, I think it's pretty interesting that I'll be able to bring more value to you which is by bringing different people to come in and you know we have a Q&A, different content, different topics like fitness, music, business, entrepreneurship, startups, all, all these different different um, interesting topics that we are able to provide to you. But yeah, it's going to be very interesting and I'm pretty excited about it. So the very first person that I'm going to bring in today, he is one of my high school friends, his name is Sean. And what I know is that this person is very, very passionate in workout. And he's a handful of people that I know that can do stuff like... Yeah. And today, I'm going to find out how he did it in this afternoon. Alright, I'm here. We are at the... Uh, what's it called? Casa Permai Central Park. I used to come here to work out every day with Sean um, when I was working at this area. And when I was no longer working in this area, I stopped coming here. Because this place, from my house to this place, it's around 30 to 40 minutes, right? It's pretty far. So I decided not to come here anymore. <laughs> ah, I remember this. It's a very cute sign. Please leave your address so my dog can poop in your yard. Haha. <laughs> Let me just bring you around while waiting for Sean. Usually there's a group of people playing frisbee over here. Um, because now it's 3.52 so nobody's gonna play frisbee in this kind of hot weather. But we are here in this time because we of there's no people it's easier for us to shoot and uh, this is the part this is the place that me and Sean we always work out over here you have the pull up bars over there well this pull up bar is new um, it was not here when I was working out in here it says donated by warrior fitness community good job I think he's here. I saw his bicycle. Yes, you see. Yo! Hey. What's up, bro? What's up, man? <laughs> How are you? How you doing, man? Oh, this John. Alright, man. Actually, I saw a lot of videos, right? Mm -hmm. That you're doing a lot of fancy push ups. Okay. And there are two that caught, really caught my attention. The first one is okay. the, the one handed push up. Right. Yes. And the second one is the handstand push-up. Yeah, you literally just handstand and do push-ups. That is uh, yes, exactly. insane. So right. um, in this episode, I would like you to like share like how you actually do it, mm -hmm. like your progress and how you get there. Okay, sure, no problem. Alright man, so first thing we want to know is the one hand push-ups, right? Yeah. So what are the basics that you do before you actually must up your one hand push-up? The basics I did was a uh, few regular push-ups, okay. archer push-ups. Um, some decline push-ups where you challenge mostly on your shoulders decline. and your core and, okay. yes, and mostly on your upper chest then finally maybe some incline one arm push-ups awesome so actually what are the basics I mean what are the mistakes that usually people do when they're doing push-ups I know there are some guidelines they, they must follow right during push-ups no yeah. matter which push-up they are doing um, 
a lot of people make mistakes, especially on the wrist. Let's start from this part. Okay. okay. The wrist, elbows, shoulders, hips, also your neck. Why? A lot of people love to look down on the push-ups. Not by underestimating it, but looking down on the push-ups. Okay. So, neck, down. So, that's so this is wrong. That's the wrong part. So the correct one is what? Um, the correct way is to get your neck aligned. Can you show us? Same as the back. Okay. okay. Alright, so. Okay. Just get aligned the same. Okay, as you're standing up the same way. Okay, not too low, not too high, but try the same cool. alignment as your back. Mm. See the same alignment? Yep. Alright, and then you start the push ups. And also keep your elbows. 45 yes. degrees. That's the elbow. Okay, so when you push down, tuck in, 45, push back, Good. elbows forward. Alright. Okay? Okay. So that's the two mistakes. The most common mistakes. Yes, out of the five. Alright, so um, I can't wait. Can you show us the one hand push up? It's so cool. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> then try it out. It's been a while, I haven't done any one hand push ups. So, one hand push ups, okay. Highlight, guys. So advanced push ups. So try not to do it if you're not ready for it. Try to do as not as many uh, practices and uh, beginners Agree. variation. So this is Must a one the basics up. first. Yep. We start with this. I can show you one. Hey. Okay. Look at that. Okay. So that is the one of push ups. Mostly this exercise will be done by boxers. Mm. Why? We, they try to learn how to box. So they need to get the arm speed back. So you see, when you do the boxing, it's exactly the same as one of push ups. So, can you show us how you muster it up? Like, yeah, I muster it up. Uh, I did a at few the beginning basics. stage. Yeah, I did a few basics. We're gonna start from a decline push ups. Try to get your shoulder strength. If you wanna get more difficult, right? Get higher. Go higher. Okay. I do a typewriter push ups. Yeah, we're gonna do a one arm assisted push ups on rings. And we're gonna do an incline one arm push ups. The next thing we're gonna go to is archer push ups. Okay, archer push ups, when you do one arm push ups, it's just basically you get an arm out. So that is where you, this is how does the archer push up looks like in a standing position. So when you get up, it'll be this way, to the other side, this way. You see, like an archer, right? So when you do it on the floor, get your hands up, white. One, side, push back. Two, push back. Okay? Okay. It'll be more like assisting push up, uh, one arm push ups. Once you get that done, you go out to the incline one arm push ups. Find a platform at this height, a knee height, or a hip height. So find this height. Okay, same thing. Okay, you want to do it in a wider stance. Spread wide. Okay, keep your core stable. Hands back, hand side or front. Up to you. Okay, so once you go down, try to go down as slow as possible. And as slow. Okay, bang out. Back. Okay, but remember this. Don't try to twist your body too much. Out. Think of it as a boxing. When you box someone, right in front. Okay. So just right in front. Just this. Back up. The other one, assisted one arm push ups on rings. So one arm to the floor, one arm on the rings. So how to do it? You can try to do it on the side or front. So what, what, what are the common mistakes that people do usually when they want to do the one hand push up? Like they can see what you're doing mm -hmm. but which are the part that they need to focus and which are the part that usually they make mistake okay. that will actually injure them? The main focus for one arm push ups, the, the target muscles will be the triceps. Mm. Okay, the triceps and the next thing will be your side core, your side abs. That's what we call the, the, the fish skills. Okay, try to focus on your core. And the mistakes are, you see this? When they do an hour push ups, they try to push, they try to twist the body as far as possible. So from that point, you lose balance 
you lose your center of gravity. Mm. Okay, you try to keep it as close to your body. Okay, you push back up. But the main mistake is that when they push back up, they know it's gonna be hard. So they utilize their hip, push ah, back. That's what I did. You see it? See that? <laughs> okay, so one of push ups, down, back up. Mm. So this one of the mistakes, these two mistakes. So next we have the handstand. I think handstand is the much more difficult thing to, to master, right? Yeah, how, how long have you been in doing it until you can you are be able to do the handstand thing? Because handstand alone is not easy, right? No, no, it's not easy. You have to do, master. Like almost two years, I guess. Wow. So you, you want to show us one time, then you don't have to do it again. You just, you just explain how you do it, but I know it's very tiring. <laughs> <laughs> I try to do it one handstand first. Then we try to do another push-ups on the wall. Okay, thing. cool. Okay. So, Let's do it. handstand, okay, you can do it from free, on the ground, without the wall, okay, normally I would do it in a frog stand, okay, on the floor, okay, or bear, okay, and Right. So this is handstand. handstand. Yeah, this is a handstand. Okay, cool. And the push up. Handstand push up. Man, this is exciting. Much more difficult. Okay. Same thing, you get a walk. Alright. Oh my god. Look at that. Oh. So that's the handstand push ups. Alright. Cool. Okay. So you wanna explain a little bit like what you did there? You don't have to do it again, but <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you just like explain how you do it and uh, what are the common mistakes that people okay. do. Uh, mm. How I did it is that I started with normal push-up, decline push-ups, and we then start off with a pike push-up. Pike push-up? Yes, a pike push-up. Pike push-up is basically you keep your body triangular. Mm -hmm. Okay? Like pyramid. Oh. Okay, okay, I get it. So that's the beginner version. Okay. So try that. Okay. And the other thing is that besides push-ups, what else can you do to master your handstand? Mm. Uh, I will do, do two kinds of exercises. Mm -hmm. One will be the frog. One will be the ape. So this is basically like yoga exercise. So the ape. Okay. Uh, at this part, at this point, you need some flexibility. Most importantly, flexibility on your hips, on your shoulders, on your wrists. Okay, so if you're not ready for it, try not to do it at home. Mm. Okay, so from eight, I try to do the walking eight. Okay, try to do it. Slow. Okay, or the frog. Okay, go back to the frog. When the stands, in the front, This is the frog. Okay. Mm. And the next progression will be trying to get your hip up, upright. So hip, okay, walking. Try to go up. Try to go up higher. Wow. That so this point. is how you master it up, like yeah. the basics that you do, then it will turn up to be able to really Handstand push up. Oh, no, sorry, yeah, handstand push handstand, up. Handstand, right. yes. Try to do it handstand first. That's amazing. That's the first goal. Okay, in handstand categories. Try yep. to do handstand before we do a push ups. Cool. Okay. Thanks, man. <laughs> Alright, now we're back in the car and we're gonna ask a few questions. Mm -hmm. So the first question is What is your current workout plan? Like what what are the workout routine that you are you're doing right now? Uh, basically right now I'm doing a